Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Big Big One Gaming here. Welcome to episode number 11 of Winning a Natty with every team in the game. So obviously, last uh, episode, uh, we had my Ohio win in uh, five seasons, which was very, very nice. Um, but you know what this means. New team means new spin. I have to get it set up here. Hold on. Here we go. There we go. All right. Um, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. See who we get. And we are going to get... Okay, this be a one season and done? No, because it's going to be Northern Illinois. We almost were at Notre Dame. Um... So it's Northern Illinois, to I totally forgot team. to turn off the to build a team thing there, the but or take over and I believe Northern Illinois, Pay attention to each they're not in the Sun Belt. Are oh, they in the, they're in the, the MAC. Stars next to There's each the MAC. There's the Mid-American. Northern Illinois, another MAC team. Back-to-back -to -back MAC teams. Head coach, obviously we're going with Matt Ashley. Congratulations. It's time to sign Bang, they signed the contract. So again... Episode 11, already. Ten, 11 episodes, or 10 episodes down. This is number 11. Um, been pretty fun, to be honest with you. Winning a bunch of di or stuff with this team, or with different teams and everything. Um, so let's take a look at the squad, what we're having to go with to start. So the best person right now is an A6 halfback uh, with an A3 uh, tight end. A lot of seniors um, with this team. Uh, we have a 74 junior, so we could use some quarterbacks. Uh, could definitely use some halfbacks, although we do have a couple freshmen, but they're kind of slow. Um, could desperately need wide receivers. Um, definitely need some O-linemen. Uh, need some, we need everything. Literally everything, because even our best corners, besides Finley, are seniors. We legit need everything imaginable. We even need a punter. So, all in all, I'm going to go ahead and get season one done. Um, and I'll see you at the guys at the end of season number one. And here we are at the end of season number one. We go three and nine. A not very good season. But then again, we kind of knew this was going to happen. Uh, we beat FCS Midwest to begin the season. Then we lost five straight. <laughs> Notre Dame, uh, Buffalo, NC State, UMass, Bowling Green. And Toledo, we did beat Ball State, um, especially when a lot of rec uh, no, this was with recruits. It was the Akron game that had a lot of recruits at it. Um, beat Ball State to stop that losing streak. Then we lose three of our next four, um, with the only win coming against Akron. Um, and yeah, we almost beat Western Michigan. We only lost by one, so there's that. Um, anywho, um, not a very good season whatsoever. So we're just gonna go ahead, obviously. Advance the week because we do need to sign a defensive coordinator. Um, obviously, we are going to get some more recruits as well later on down the road here. Um, yeah, not a, not a very good season, only winning a, a couple games. Cam Rising uh, wins the Heisman, only throwing two interceptions for Utah. Um, and, yeah, we'll see about everything else here. Sure, we'll go We'll go with this guy. I right. Don't mind. I don't. He's a elite recruiter. I need some recruiting. Um, looking at the bracket once we actually advance here to the end of season recap, which we'll go through now. We'll go through, of course, just like uh, all other seasons with the episodes and everything. We'll go one by one and uh, see who made the college football playoff and see who wins the night. We got a lot of people risking a transfers as well. Conference prestige and coach prestige went up, but coach stability and pro potential went down. That's not very good, and we have a lot of people wanting to transfer out. And we also go down to a one-star prestige, so not very good. Um, it looks like Oregon wins it all over Alabama by one point. Boise State went pretty far. Texas State as well went. Um, but Texas State, Boise State, Miami, Oregon, and Utah were the top – uh, teams that automatically qualified with Boston College going 12 oh, going as the four seed with Bama, Michigan, Colorado, Florida State, Wisconsin, and Notre Dame. Um, and yeah, Notre Dame did pretty good. Colorado got destroyed by Oregon. Not surprised. Um, Oregon is usually one that usually wins in year number one, but 
anywho, that is the end of season number one. It is on to season number two. And here we are in season number two with Noel, Illinois. Not a great season. <coughs> um, we go two and ten. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we're going to sort a lot. Uh, only wins came against San Diego State and Eastern Michigan. So we did win one in the MAC, but uh, we went three and nine last year. We go two and ten this year. We're still trending downward. So hopefully, um, it can't be worse. I mean, it could, but it probably won't be. Um, let's advance all the way to the end of the season recap here. See who made the bowl games or uh, the conference, uh, the college football playoff, as well as the national championship and. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get some success in season number three. Obviously, this one's going to take a while compared to, you know, the four and the fives that we had before. Um, looks like Texas beat Boston College in the national championship. Um, Boise State, Texas, Ohio State, Kansas State, and Clemson were the automatic qualifiers with Georgia, Nebraska, Penn State, Alabama, Oregon, Boston, Boston College, and Virginia Tech making it as the at-large bids. And that is the 10 seed. Uh, Boston College went all the way to the – national championship and gave texas a run for their money um boston college was up seven to three and then texas kind of won it late but all in all not a great season for us uh so end of season number two it's on season number three and here we are at the end of season number three a uh, actually decent season seven five overall our first winning season uh, we beat Iowa, uh, we lost Toledo, then we beat Wake Forest and UMass, and we lost to Akron, who's ranked, uh, Bowling Green, Tulsa, Eastern Michigan. So we win three out of our first four, lose four straight, and then win four straight to finish off the season. So a kind of weird season. We do go four and four in the MAC, uh, and we go seven and five in total. Um, I think we, we beat everyone outside of our division or outside of our conference, which is really, really nice. Uh, so if we just take out the four and four, uh, we're three and one. So the only one that we lost to is, I believe, Tulsa out of the uh, out of the conference games. So all in all, I'll take the seven and five, uh, you know, thing. So we're obviously gonna uh, sim past conference championships, see who is the highest bid winner, um, and see who our bowl game is, and let's see if we have a good bowl game um, here next week. So obviously. Hopefully, we get an easier opponent, and we don't have to face a top 25 team. But more than likely, we will have to. Uh, we only have two people thinking about transferring. Hopefully, they will uh, They will stay. Aiden Childs, who apparently transferred to USC. I know he is the Michigan State quarterback. Uh, so, apparently, he transferred out. Uh, well, we do got to face Washington in the Detroit Bowl. Is that a new one? I haven't seen that one in, in ever, I don't think. That's that's weird. Is that a new one? I can't remember. I don't know if they've added new ones or not. Um, obviously, we're simulating here. Let's see if we win, and then we'll of course simulate to the end of season recap. It looks like we lost to Washington. I'm not surprised yet. We go seven and six on the season. Um, not very surprised. So end of season recap here. Uh, here in 2026 in season number three, I'll take the winning season. Our first winning season um, in our first three. Uh, season Sims, so I'm only 81 overall. Obviously, this will all go up. Coach stability goes up to an A minus. Coach proceeds up to a C minus. Pro potentials up to a D. Sure, I guess. Um, looks like Georgia defeats Oklahoma uh, with Arizona, LSU, USC, Pittsburgh, and UTSA all getting the uh, automatic qualifiers. With Oregon, Georgia, NC State, Alabama, Oklahoma, Charlotte and Ohio State getting at-large bids. So two at-large bids, Oklahoma and Georgia, both SEC teams. Uh, LSU won the SEC, then got beat by Georgia. So that was kind of, uh, kind of funny there. But all in all, that is the end of season number three and is on to season number four. And here we are in season number four. We go 500. So honestly, the last two seasons have looked decent. Uh, we won our first game, then lost four straight. One, two, lost one, 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 lost one, and won our last two to be six and six on the season. Absolutely, actually upsetting Toledo, who was eight and three at the time when we played them. We were five and six, so we do go five and three in the conference. 
pretty decent, but we're not going to be ending up getting a conference championship appearance, which, I mean, is fine. Uh, we're four seasons in with Northern Illinois, so I'm not expecting amazing uh, seasons like we did uh, with Miami of Ohio getting it done in five seasons. You know, Pitt, we would got done in three. Um, so all in all, we'll kind of see. Also, I think this is our third MAC team that we've done already, I think. I can't remember. Uh, but Richie Collins wins the Heisman. Um, and then we have to face Hawaii in the Arizona Bowl. So we'll take that all day. Um, is this going to be a Week 2 Bowl? Which is kind of weird that we're in a Week 2 Bowl against Hawaii. Uh, we are. They're 9-4. and four. We're 6-6. Six and six. I don't expect us to win this game. But it'd be kind of cool if we do. Um... 286. I don't know. I don't think that's enough. We did win the whole. We did win the Arizona Bowl. We're we're bowl winners. Let's go. Um, now we simulate the end season recap after simulating two weeks of the bowl seasons. So all in all, back to back seven and six seasons with a bowl win in one of them. So we'll gotta take that pro potential goes up, coach prestige goes up. So that will look good. We also go up in a two uh, to a two star school. So that's very, very nice. Looks like USC defeats Arizona. Uh, Oklahoma, Western Kentucky, LSU, Florida State, and Arizona all were the automatic qualifiers with USC, Oregon, Colorado, Pitt, Cincinnati, and Tennessee. Oh, I'm sorry. I was USF with the automatic qualifier, not Oklahoma. I don't know why that's highlighted. I think it's the actual stars rather than the highlights. Um, so I don't know why that happens. But anyways, um, USF was the other one. So, two G5 schools. Respect. Um, but, yeah. Anywho, that's the end of season number four. On to season number five. And here we are in season number five. We go eight and four on the season. So, another good season overall. We lost to Charlotte, who was actually ranked at the very beginning of the season. They went four and eight. Uh, we beat FCS, Toledo, Maryland, and Missouri. So we actually had a very good season all around, beating Maryland and beating Missouri. Granted, they did go two and ten and four and eight in total. Um, losing to Ball State, Western Michigan was rough, and Bowling Green. That's why we're not making the conference championship. Uh, we did barely beat Buffalo and Miami of Ohio, who only went one and eleven. We did destroy Akron thirty four seven, so that was nice. Um, but overall, two star prestige, which is really really nice. Hopefully, we can get that improved again. This upcoming offseason, um, since we are 8-4, and four, if we can win our bowl game, I think we go up to a 2.5 star maybe, which would very, very help us, uh, really help us out in uh, recruiting-wise. Um, so, yeah, 8-4, and four, a lot better season than the last two seasons. I think now after, after the first two years that we had were rough, I mean, ever since then, it's kind of been a, a decent up uh, upswing now. Uh, Julian Sayan. Wins the Heisman, four nine touchdowns, forty one hundred yards. So not a not a bad season with him. And we're going to be facing Marshall in the Myrtle Beach Bowl. Um, so that's going to be another having another chance to win a bowl game. Um, if we look, I mean, we went what three and nine, two and ten, then seven and six back to back seasons, and now we have a chance to go nine and four or eight and five. So either way, we're going to be winning. Um, you know, stuff like that. So all in all. Um, yeah, in the season recap, here we go. We're not even going to, you know, see if we win the bowl game. We're obviously going to know if we do or not here in year number five. So I don't expect us to go anywhere season six. I mean, we are an 84 overall team, so 85. Now we did go nine and four. Um, coach prestige goes up, so that's very nice. Very, very close to an 80 minus. Coach stability goes down to a B plus. That's kind of weird. And pro potential is down to a C. Um, so not, not great, but we do win the bowl game. So that's nice. Um, it looks like LSU defeated Oregon, um, as an at-large bid. Old Dominion, TCU, Nebraska, Louisiana Tech, and Tulane were all the automatic qualifiers with, again, three teams in the G5 with Old Dominion, Louisiana Tech, and Tulane making it, along with USC, who is the number one, I guess, didn't win the Big Ten championship. I guess that went to Nebraska. Um, Notre Dame, Oregon, Miami, Wisconsin, Georgia, and LSU all making it as as at-large bids. Can't talk. Um, 
But yeah, LSU wins it, and they would go 15-2 and on the season. Oregon went 12-4, and so they actually had four losses on the season. That's kind of wild, but anywho, that's going to end this season number five. It is on to season number six. Here we are in season number six with Northern Illinois. We go 9-3 and three on the season, and we have a MAC Conference Championship game for the first time uh, with our simulations. We're also ranked 13th. Um, in the, or 15th in the nation. I said 13th. It's 15th, but we are 9-3. and three. We have a shot to break our own record at 9-4 and four that we had our best overall. Um, so four straight seasons above 500, which is very, very solid for Northern Illinois. We'll gladly take that. Um, here's the thing about the top 25. If we want to do, if we do want to make the comp or the uh, CFP, uh, we would need Duke to lose, Colorado State to lose, as well as UTSA to lose. If they all three lose, we have a chance to being at one of the top four teams um, going into the bracket. But right now we are projected out of it uh, with Miami, Colorado State, Oregon, and UCF all making it as the automatic qualifier. So that's projected as of right now. Obviously, you never know what's going to happen. We are ranked 15th, but it doesn't matter if we don't win this game. So let's go ahead simulate it we are facing ball state we did beat ball state i believe earlier this year i forgot to show the team schedule i'll show that here in just a second um with we did get 417 xp and we won so we do go 10 and 3 on the season we are officially mac champions for the first time uh with northern illinois and forrest lawson is the mac defensive player of the week so good for him and uh willie ellington the sophomore quarterback who did play last season a little bit too because of an injury we stay at 15th, which is kind of a little weird, but um, as you can see here, we actually lost our first three games in the first five weeks, and then we went on a tear, um, winning our next eight games, Buffalo, Eastern Michigan, Iowa, which was uh, Ohio, Iowa, Ohio, which was a closed game, um, Bowling Green, Western Michigan, we shut them out, Miami of Ohio apparently only won by three. Toledo, we won by 11. Ball State, we won by 10. So some close games. We only lost Missouri by one. Uh, we lost to Kent State by three. So those are close games. We only got our only big loss was against Iowa. So all in all, we're also an 87 overall team. So who knows um, what we will be doing in the college football playoff if we are going to go. Um, all depends here. We do get a bunch of XP. Again, 10-3 and three on the season. And Cortez Sandy, quarterback from Tulane, wins the Heisman. Good for him. And, hey, we got the best kicker award. Solid. We'll take that. Um, and we are not. We are going to be facing Kansas State and the Tony the Tiger Bowl. So, unfortunately, we don't make it to the college football playoff, which is unfortunate. Uh, but, as I said before, Colorado State, Miami, LSU, Oregon, and UCF were the at-large bids um, with Ohio State, Duke, Kentucky, Auburn, Tennessee, Texas, and Clemson all making it as at large bid. So, yeah, we need to be around 12, and we are 15. So we're three away, but, you know, all in all, we can gladly take this season as a stepping stone for next season and try to be um, ranked again and try to make the college football playoff for the first time and with this team, and we're seven – Going about to be seven seasons in, we haven't touched it yet. We do win against Kansas State, so we're up to a eleven and three, up to a three star prestige as well. Pro potential goes up. Coach prestige does go down for some reason. Don't know why we go down after winning a bowl game against a pretty good team of Kansas State. And it looks like Oregon wins it all over Ohio State, so good for them all overall. Um, beating up on Ohio State, who was one of the at large bids. So all in all, um, season six is down. And we are now on to season number seven. And here we are in season number seven. And we go 11 and one. Only loss came against Toledo when it was 28 to three. We won our first four games of the season. After that Toledo loss, it kind of, I, I mean, there was a lot of close games other than the Kent State game. But everything was close. And I'm not even going to try to say why. Because, A, this team is an 88 overall. So there, there's that. Um, we went way up in overalls. And just looking at the standings-wise, 
if we go to the Mac, fun fact, um, no one's even close to, I mean, the highest overall is Ball State in the 83. So please explain to me how these are all close games. I don't know. But everyone is like a two and a half or one star, one and a half star school besides Toledo, who was the team we lost to. Um, I don't know. But we have a game against Western Michigan. If we win, we're guaranteed shoe in for the college football playoff no matter what. And we have a chance to do some damage in there with how uh, with how good the team is. Uh, and we lost. Of course we did. Um, so that's fantastic. Don't know why we're losing these games. Um, we're facing Old Dominion in the Camilla Bowl. So we don't even go into the college football playoffs. So we actually needed to win that game. And we lost by one. I just saw we lost by one. Hawaii got in because they're the next team that was there. We could have had a bye with Kansas State and Arkansas both getting in. We could have had a bye going into our first college football playoff game. But um, I guess looking at it, Arkansas, Wisconsin, Kansas State, Clemson, and Hawaii all made it as the at-large bids or with the automatic qualifiers with Pitt, Oregon, Auburn, TCU, Texas, Arizona, and Duke getting it as the at-large bids with the number one seed in the nation – not going as a thing. They went 11-1, and one, so kind of wild. But I'm upset. I'm just going to go ahead and simulate this end-of-season end recap here because, honestly, we should have been here. I mean, we're an 88 overall. Don't know how we're losing by one point to a team that's nine overalls under us. It doesn't make any sense. Overalls don't make sense in this game. I'm going to be a dead honest. But all in all, um, we're still an 88. Pro potential is down. Conference prestige is down. Coach prestige is up. Um, and conference pre er, coach stability is down. I think one of our coordinators got poached. But we do win our bowl game. Um, I guess that's nice, but it doesn't even matter at this point because Arkansas lost to Arizona in the national title game, which is probably where we were going to be at with Arkansas. Um, so, don't know, unfortunately. But all in all, end of uh, year number seven. It's on to year number eight. And here we are in season number eight with Northern Illinois. We go 11-1, and one, a very solid season. Uh, we are also in the Mac Chaffer Championship, but only lost game against Buffalo. We've already beat Eastern Michigan once this season as well. Uh, other than that, we had a lot of close wins, a couple blowout wins later on in the season, but close win against Western Michigan, close win against Ohio, uh, against Kent State, San Diego State, Texas A&M. We destroyed Boston College to begin the season, so that is very, very nice. And we are in the top 25. We are ranked 12th in the nation. So here's the thing. Georgia and, Ten uh, Georgia and Tennessee play each other. Arizona and Cincinnati play each other. And Iowa and Ohio State play each other. So obviously, half of those teams, whoever wins, will be number one. Or I guess in the top three. Here's the thing with Pitt. If Pitt loses to Virginia, we have a shot at being the fourth best team out of the top 25 to win. Obviously, if we lose and Pitt loses, Old Dominion wins. Old Dominion will jump up because they won their they won their stuff. Um, all in all, we have to win. Win is good. So let's do it. A win, and we're in. A loss, and we're at the mercy of an at-large bid. We get a couple commits. I'm looking for. We got 2,000 XP. We did get a Mac Defensive Player of the Week with five tackles and a sack. I don't think we won. Wakari Duggan wins the Heisman. I don't think we won. We also got the Best Kicker Award. Did we win? I'm confused because we're on the college football playoff. No, we lost. We did. Lo How did we lose to Eastern Michigan? They beat us 33 to 30. This is the second time we've had like a loss in overtime in the conference championship. And I'm actually kind of getting a little upset. Um, we do go up to number 11, which is kind of weird, even though we lost. Uh, let's take a look at the bracket here real quick. Because Ohio State, Tennessee, Pitt, and Arizona all make it, so obviously they're going to go. Old Dominion makes it as the 
the 12. Auburn, Cincinnati, Arkansas, us, Georgia, and Florida, and Wisconsin. So we got a tough matchup against Georgia to begin it. It's kind of hoping Tennessee would have won, but oh well. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a tough one because we do have to face Georgia in the first round. They, uh, they average 37 points per game. Uh, they're a 90 overall. This is going to be, I think, a pretty close matchup, but hopefully we can uh, do pretty decent. So 89 overall, they're a 90. Uh, let's get it. Let's see if we can try to pull off the upset here on the road in Georgia. Um, a win would be great. This is our first time ever in the college football playoff here in Northern Illinois in season number eight. We could have made it last year, but we, again, lost in the natty, or in the, uh, not in the natty, in the conference championship, so we then missed it. And I thought it was going to happen again, but no, we do get lucky and get in with a top, with an at-large bid. First drive ends in a field goal. Nothing doing for them on their first two drives in quarter number one. Quarter number two, we end up getting six points again, but Georgia gets a field goal as well and a touchdown before half. So it's 10 to six here in the third quarter. We get a stop. They get a stop. They get, looks like probably a field goal here. Second, seven, third. They, it's fourth down to one. They kick a field goal. So it's a seven-point game, and we're getting the ball. They immediately go backwards, giving two rushes and playing the football away. Fourth down to one. We get the stop. They miss a 55-yard field goal, and then we immediately get sacked. A rush for six yards after that, and we're going to punt the football with two minutes to go in the game, but we get a pick six. That was the right move, I guess. An interception, and now all we need is one stop, but Georgia is driving, and they're already in field goal range, and they make it with nine seconds left, and that's going to do it. Georgia's going to take down Northern Illinois. I highly, highly expected that, to be honest with you. Um, I was very surprised with the pick six, but yeah, tough season all the way around again. I mean... It, if we would have won the common championship, we wouldn't be in this mess. Um, so let's simulate to the end of season recap. We'll finish uh, season eight here uh, with Northern Illinois. So again, another uh, another failed season. We'll be on to season number nine, but I think this se this team's got something going. I think our window is open uh, to try to make college the college football playoff and everything like that. Everything is now a pluses besides our athletic facilities, which is still a D. But A minus pro potential, A plus coach stability, so we're gonna be there for a long time and be good to go. And it looks like Tennessee wins it all over Wisconsin. We've already looked at the bracket, but Georgia did end up losing to Wisconsin pretty handily. Um, man, I just we had a close game. Florida only dropped seven points as well, so a lot of closer games. But just a little unfortunate that we couldn't win the Nash or win our conference championship. I don't think we are a top four. We would probably be the 12 seed, um, which we would probably lose to Auburn anyway, so, because they dropped 66 on Ohio State, which is insane. Uh, but, yeah, end of season number eight. So on to season number nine. So here we are in season number nine. Uh, we go 12-0. and 0. We are undefeated on the season. We beat Missouri and Kansas State in our first three weeks, and then we ran through the MAC. Um, we did have a close game against Akron, apparently, only winning by two. Did this go into overtime? It did go into overtime. Well, that's not good. Uh, um, uh, close win against East Carolina. They are also ranked. Uh, they're ranked 13th. So, all in all, this game against Buffalo is big because, A, if we win, we're probably going to be one of the top four teams because Georgia, Tennessee play each other, Miami, Wake Forest, Ohio State, and USC, and then UC, or USF faces East Carolina. So, that will be a tough matchup there. So we're all right now on the outside looking in, but if one of those teams loses, we are in. If you know, even if we do win, right now East Carolina is there, and we're actually the number three ranked team there. Uh, so hopefully, maybe if if as long as we win, we're in. If not, we don't know to be honest. So all in all, let's just win. Let's see how it goes here against Buffalo. I have to sneeze. It's gonna happen eventually. I'm just really hoping it's not now while I'm uh, while I'm recording this, but we do win. We go 13 and 0. Program tradition is now officially up um, to a B minus, so that is very nice. 13 and 0 season with Northern Illinois in nine seasons. We finally win a MAC championship. So took us a while, but finally got there. Um, all in all, 
Uh, this is going to be a tougher season. Was this our first one winning the MAC Conference Championship? I can't even remember. No, we won in 2029. This is only our second one in our nine seasons. Second one, which is just insane. But all in all, now with the win, we should have a bye in the college football playoff because we are one of the higher teams uh, winning our national championship. So all in all, here like, again, this is with like only three corners because I forgot to recruit corners for a little bit. Um, we got a, one of the best coordinators of the year, so that's nice. He'll be gone next season, so hopefully we just win it now. Uh, Duggan wins the Heisman, the senior quarterback from Georgia. Um, that's pretty much about it um, for us. So let's check the bracket because I know we are in there. And we do have the four instead of the three. Wake Forest, um, Georgia, and Ohio State um have the bye weeks along with us and we have to face the winner of east carolina and texas uh ucf Pitt, lsu miami and tennessee and wisconsin have all made it so all in all we get another uh another season in the college football playoff i'm really hoping to face east carolina i'm not really excited if i have to face texas um so here we are well, again we're also an 89 overall and we have to face texas that's unfortunate saw it coming though um, I don't think we have to sign anybody. Yeah, no, everyone's here. So our coordinators are amazing right now. So that's very, very nice. But all in all, here we go. Texas, Northern Illinois. We do have to face the number three seed in the nation or the number three team in the nation. They are 90 overall. They're one overall point better than us. So it's going to be a closer game. Let's see what we can do here against Texas. Trying to win our first college football playoff game in this season. Or in our first seasons with nine. We lo we made it last year, lost to Georgia. Can we beat Texas? Can we beat another SEC team maybe? Quarter by quarter, here we go. Texas does nothing on their first drive. We do as well. They get a field goal to make it 3 nothing. Second quarter, we get a field goal. So it's 3-3, three to three, now 10-3. to three, And now 17-3 to three going into half. But we start with ball, get a touchdown. It's now 17-10 to 10 going into the fourth quarter where we'll go play by play. They punt the ball. We get a nine-yard catch. Nothing doing on a run, but we do get the first down. Third down and six, we run the ball for some reason. And they are now fourth down and ten from their own two. They have to punt the football. So we're still down a touchdown, now having decent field position. Fourth down and one, we get it. Now we get a big pass play for 18 yards. Gain of three, now it's first and goal. Second and goal, and of course we get a holding call, and now we get the touchdown to make it 17 all. And the defense gets a stop. We have a chance. We just need to get into field goal range with a minute 13. On third down and nine, we get a big pass for 10, and then we immediately get sacked. But we get those yards back for 11, then a run. It's fourth down and one, and we are going into overtime where we start with the football. And we will get a touchdown. Now it's 24-17. They get a touchdown. And they get a field goal. So all we need is a touchdown. Can we just get it? We get a touchdown. I always hate when it happens like this because I don't know what happens. Every time, man, I'm so upset. But we get the touchdown to upset Texas, technically. It's a technically an upset because we were ranked lower than Texas. Oh, yes, they're, they're ranked higher than us. Anyways, it is it is what it is. We win the bowl game. There's the trophy and all, but we're not done yet. We score 13 points. We actually shut them out in the second half until the overtime. So the defense really deserves the applause right there and forcing them to only get a field goal at overtime as well. So all in all, a very, very good win, and now we move on to the quarterfinals. Or I guess the semifinals, because that was the quarterfinal game. Um, I always forget that we have a bye week, and then, you know, it goes into week three. That's the bowl week. It is it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, all in all, a very, very nice little season here in season number nine. Jared Parker gets the player of the week. So that's very, very nice. And we are facing Georgia again. So here we go with Georgia. Northern Illinois versus Georgia. They beat us last season. Let's see if we can turn the favor. They're 90 overall. We're an 89. We need the win. A win, and we move on to the national championship. A loss, and we do it all again. So here we go. Trying to keep the undefeated season alive. 
here against Georgia. So let's do it. Quarter by quarter, looks like we're starting ball first, and we get a field goal, so we have an early lead. Now it's 3-3 three to three at the end of one. The defense did their job there holding. They're, their defense is doing a great job of holding us. This is a very weird game. It's 6-3, to three, no touchdowns yet. As I say that, still, still no. Now it's a touchdown. It's 13-6 to six here in the fourth quarter, or 13-3 to three here, I'm sorry. We have shut out Georgia from the end zone probably until now. Now as I say something. But how about a one-play 61-yard gain all the way to the 15-yard line? But unfortunately, we're only going to get three out of it. Wait, did we get a turnover? What ha what happened? It didn't even say anything. Apparently, we got a turnover. And now it's 16-10. to 10. Georgia's got no timeouts with eight seconds, five seconds. And we have beat Georgia. We return the favor. A 16-10 to 10 win on a defensive game all the way around. Both teams had some solid, I mean, Finna, eight carries, 169 yards. I think he had one big carry in the game. That was for like the 80 yards that we saw, which was insane. But hey, I'll take it. We won the Sugar Bowl. We are moving on to a national championship for the first time in nine seasons with Northern Illinois. Now, who are we going to be facing? I haven't looked at the bracket yet. But let's find out after this whole thing happens here with us getting, like, the little sticker, I, I guess. Um, we are going to be facing the winner of Wake Forest and Ohio State. So all in all, let's see how we can do here. Again, just look at the schedule. I think I've, I may have only shown this, but, again, no no wins, obviously. So or no force wins. We don't do that around here. The only time I would ever do it was when before when – you know, FCS schools were defeating teams pretty handily. That was, I didn't even did it then. Um, but, yeah, here we go. Final game of the season. Please. I mean, we're going to get the MAC Offensive Player of the Week because there's no other MAC schools playing. One likely we are playing Ohio State for the Natty. So here we go. Ohio State, Northern Illinois for the National Championship. And Ohio State's a 90 overall. I think we've played every single team at a 90 overall in this run. Never got an easy game. Nor do we want one. This is a heart and soul run. Not a Mickey Mouse run. Here we go. National title game. Let's see if we can win it in nine seasons. Looks like we're getting the ball first here. And we don't do anything. But we get a turnover. It's now 0-0 at the end of one with us having the ball. Still nothing going for both sides. A lot of nothing doing for both sides. They finally kick a field goal. That's 13 to nothing at the half. Or 3 nothing at the half. I'm sorry. Still 3 nothing. Now a touchdown. It's 7 to 3 with Oklahoma, with Oklahoma. With Ohio State having the football. They get two rushes on third down and one. They pass it for a first. Now a big play for 15. Now a short little, two short little runs and then a pass. Feels like that's been. Ohio State, but now it's fourth down, and they punt the football away. Some big first downs would be huge. That's one right there to Staten for 15 yards. Finna goes for three, and then Leota goes for 12. Second down and seven after an Irving three-yard rush. Then we go backwards on a run. That's fourth down and six after a gain of four, but now it's under two minutes. All Ohio State has all three of their timeouts, but so do we. Ohio State's driving. Continue to driving. Second down, they get a first. Third down and three, they get a first down, but is that it? Northern Illinois is national champions in season number nine. I always hate when it does that because I don't know what's going to happen unless we were up by like 15, but it was a close game. And we win seven to three off a defensive battle. This was a defensive team, man, apparently. We did not want to score many points, but we do. And we have won the national championship with Northern Illinois in nine seasons. Not going to be in the top three, unfortunately. Um, we've had four and two fives anyways. So they're not going to be in the top three. But nine seasons with Northern Illinois is not terrible. Austin Meegans was the player of the game with seven tackles. Um, that's kind of insane. So... Um, like we always do at the end of every season, we take a look at the stats when we win the Natty. 
um, instead of looking at the stats for every single season because that would be a lot. But if you guys do want to see that, write a comment down below. I can definitely do that um, as well. So um, let's look at season stats on the Heisman, or not the Heisman, the winning season. A lens through 25 touchdowns with zero interceptions. That's kind of insane. Um, Finna, 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns. Very, very nice season from him. We did not have a 1,000-yard receiver, unfortunately. Our most touchdowns was eight. Uh, we had a guy, and Megan's had 99 tackles. Uh, we had seven sacks from, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name. I'm terrible with names. Cheese Man. Juan Cheese Man with, had three interceptions on the season, the most on the team. So we didn't get many interceptions. Uh, we did force a lot, a decent amount of fumbles and recover six of them. Um, I don't think we got any touchdowns or safeties or blocks. Kicking wise, um, we were 84%, 24 of 32, and we are 46 of 47. We did have one get blocked um, by McGill, so he won the best kicker award as well. But yeah, so anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. We are now, I believe, a couple teams now in. I believe what this is. Yeah, this is. We are now 11 teams in. Still got a long way to go, but we are officially um, getting into the second 10 that we're going that we're doing right now. So, um, yeah. If you guys did enjoy, hit like hit that like button down below. Um, also, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, it is free. Really helps out the channel. Um, and let you know when videos like this, along with our zero overall dynasty and ball state dynasties, um, go live. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, night, whenever you guys are seeing this. Um, and have a great day. I'm out. Peace.